Well, here we go, I guess. So I'm in Cork for the first time this season. It's a Cups Me final weekend in Ireland, but well, we're kicking off on the Friday night with uh, the Cork Derby, El Corkico, as I like to call it, Neptune versus Demons. Uh, some of you will be aware of one of the players in this game, who, as in some of the non-Irish viewers, by his uh, highlight reel back in the day, Seventh Woods, one of the most famous mixed teams of all time. He's playing for Demons in this, but against Jordan Blount, who's birthday boy, so quite the mix here. Uh, but I'm going to head to my hotel, then get something to eat, and then wander very slowly to the arena, because it's going to like 3.30, quarter to four now. Uh, so, you know, game isn't until eight. Got to take in some of the city and, uh, you know, maybe get something nice to eat. And of course, some caffeine on the way. Safe to say the locals here are pretty confident. Would you look at that? It's a couple of years to never get one of these, but I just love stopping at these lads getting one of their sausage sandwiches. This is a cork boy. Well, I'm nothing but a stupid guy because I decided to eat one of these while wearing a white top, you can see. Uh, this much sauce, but let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. Most of my nose do not give a flying hoot. That's gorgeous. And yes, there is some on my top. Brilliant, but it's worth it. This is like well over an hour before tip. We're just going to reach the end of the queue, guys. Because <laughs> it's again well over an hour before tip. But this is Cork Derby night. Sorry there, folks. Still going. Sorry there. Like it's nearly an hour to the opening tip, and uh, really starting to fill up. Like GCP, everyone's done, but they won't be empty for long. Like they're new, they were here last year. It's very loud, as you can probably tell. You can barely hear me. It's like 90s euro, that's crazy, though. I don't know what's going on with the tune. But uh, this is going to get, if I think it's loud now with this music, it's going to be so much louder when this game is on. So as you can see outside, because it's already even darker inside, believe it or not, apart from that little entranceway there. Uh, yeah, wild game, Seven Woods, reborn, uh, incredible. And we heard from the man himself. And uh, well, when you see next, it'll be tomorrow. So I know the last, well, a couple of clips ago I said, and I'll see you tomorrow, but guess who came to see me in Cork? Asia Bangi. So uh, I'm just watching the game. I'm in the pub here. It's in Pala with Shabangi, and we're gonna have a couple of drinks, and then you will see me next time. Will be tomorrow. Mwah. Gork. It has hills. So 
So it's day two, and you were just looking there at a bit of the first half action between Louis Selix and Father Matthews. Matthews generous coming to this game, but leading by eight and a half, and frankly should be by a lot more. Let's find out who makes it to the Women's Cup final. That one got a lot closer than we all thought at the end. Like, you know, were you getting nervous? Well, look, they're they're an incredible team. They're 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 so talented. I mean, um, I think they're eleven and one so far this year. And so, you know, in terms of was it closer than I expected? Uh, you know, what, what, what you're wishing for is you'll take anything that had one higher than them. You know, um, so um, what I really like is we held our nerve. And, and the experience came through, and, and, and players who have been there before made plays before, like me of three in the corner, answered them, you know what I mean, and answered that rally. And we had some difficulty at first with the 1-3-1, but then we found some gaps. Um, and, the, and the girls really stuck to a game plan today. And, 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 you know, and, and that was important because it keeps them connected as players. If they stay in the game plan, everybody's on the same page, and that's really important. And like with Neve, who you mentioned there, like when your girls are getting nervous laid on, it looks like she's going to drag their heads out of their backsides and got their game back going. That's all. That's all. She's, you know, again, you know, as recently as March, she was the coach. So they're going to they're gonna listen to her as well. And, 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 and to have that added bonus of a, of a voice on the court, you know, sometimes in the, in the middle of, the, of a wild game, the coach's voice can be lost, but to have Neve's presence, and we tried to rest her at key times so we could have her down the stretch. Um, but her presence down the stretch was immense. It was immense, you know. So Muggins here forgot that it's cash only at the shop inside, so I've gone for a walk between games to get me coffee. Father Matthews pulled that one out. It should never been that close, but a great win, and you can see Pat Price delighted. So yeah, let's find out who's going to meet them in the final. It'll either be Colester or a local team Brunel. So huge win for you guys. Oh wait, it's a video. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. Sorry, sorry. Huge win for you guys tonight. Like you know, where do you feel the winning of the game was? How do I feel it was? Where do you feel you guys won it? Like how do you feel you guys got the got the W? Oh, I feel like we, we just played hard. Once again, we got a couple of adversity moments here, but we kept going and without the win. And like when you got someone like Giselle going off and that like you, how do you make sure the team doesn't get worried about one player and focus on taking out the whole of Leicester? Um, we just all come together. When they all, when, when another team has that one player, we just all come together, figure out a game plan, and basically. And obviously you got a big, you got the big final in two weeks in Dublin. Obviously it's very loud being told to clear out. Are you looking forward to the big trip to Dublin? Oh yes, we coming. And the For the first time in Super League, who next? So that's Brunel into the women's final as well. As you can see, it's dark here, it's dim. That's because it's between sessions. It's in the end of the evening. We've got the next one coming up. It's Balancholic and Tralee. That's for the second place in the men's final. And they, of course, will play Demons. So let's get to it. <laughs> Forward, yeah. Yeah, I love the summer league. Um, all I can say is right now, when we were good, we were very good. I built the lead. The lead came back. Um, they were able to go really aggressive because they were down by whatever they were, double figures. And we, we didn't cope with it very well. We didn't shit. We didn't. We weren't strong with the ball. We got very passive and uh, led them back in the game. They made some great plays. Unbelievable team. Show great character. But I think our resilience showed through too. And I think most teams would have folded there. And, at the end and Keelan with a great finish, you know, it's, yeah, miraculous stuff for you. Keelan, so uh, that went in exactly as you planned it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. we planned that before the game, uh, four out of bounds, stuck it up, so we should have played this game. Uh, you, you look so relaxed afterwards, is it relief or relaxation there? No, I mean, like, it's not going to lose in that position, obviously, we weren't down in time to tie game, wasn't it? So, like, uh, the pressure's off, we got to put it up for the buzzer, and luckily it went in. I think that's the same the height, kind of saved me there a little bit to get it off. Well, like, what a finish. Uh, Keelan Kern on the buzzer, wins it for Balancholic. So they're in the final. They're going to play Demons. I'm going to be there, but now I'm going to go to the pub because I buzzed in a couple of hours, but it's way too cool to stand out waiting for that. And also, there are pubs. So let's get a pint, relax. See you there. 
So like, well, it's been quite something. We had some belters. We had some weird ones. We had a lot of basketball. And uh, what a way to finish. Keelan Curry's buzzer beater into the end. Of course, I didn't catch that on video because I forgot to put my phone on for the end of that game. Uh, but of course, we've got up with Keelan as you saw there. But uh, yeah, incredible stuff. Great weekend in Cork. I'm having a Shannon Stout now. Uh, no Spanky tonight. Spanky's away elsewhere. But uh, my bus is at 1 a.m. So I won't be recording on the bus because I'll get in trouble. Uh, not because I can't record on the bus, because making noise when it's 2D and overnighter, no way. Uh, but uh, uh, I'll let you know when I get home. But for now, let's launch it. It's just after 5 a.m. here. I'm home. I stayed very, very quiet because my flatmate's obviously long asleep. But if you haven't already, please subscribe. That'd be great. I'll see you next time.